Okay, welcome back to CKP Tronics, and today I'm going to be showing you guys uh, my AF4 tuning calculator. This is extremely useful and extremely helpful in finding out the correct values to use when you are increasing the boost of an original file, um, finding out how much fuel to go with that boost, and how much fuel you need to actually create the power that you're looking for. So this is a 1.9 Siet Leon PD. And then if I go to project properties, it is a BXC turbo diesel 1.9, 105 PS, switch gear Euro 4. Here's all the you know ECU data and blah 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 blah. Um so essentially I'm gonna just, just show you a quick thing here. So if we go to the torque map on this car, should be here right here we can see that it's calibrated so there's a full bone stock original file of power of the little chain i made there which i'll explain now in a few minutes um i should probably talk a bit slower uh i'll show you them changes that i made to the boost map in a few minutes um so it's calibrated to max out the torque at 278 so let's say assume let's assume that this car makes 278 newton meter torque um let's say we 278 that's already popped in now you need to figure out what's the current IQ max and you're wondering what's the IQ. We have to look for the torque to IQ map, which is right here. And we can see, we can look uh, about 60, 72, but that's about 7 RPM, that's a blip. Um, the most accurate way to figure it out is actually a smoke map. You can see this car is limited to 60 milligrams at 3000 RPM. So let's say it's 60. 60 milligrams is our max IQ and it produces 278 Nm of torque. So if we wanted 350 Nm of torque, we need 75 milligrams of fuel. Right? Great. So now what? We then go over to this boost in fuel calculator. We stick in 75 milligrams. We just stick in 75. It could be 80. If I do 80, all these numbers will change. That changes and that changes. If we do 100 milligrams of fuel, and that's not even that bad. It's crazy. So 75, pop that in. And then we enter our desired air fuel ratio. Ideal. I'm going to write this. It's actually 18. Well, I'll say 17. And I'll do 16 to 18. And I will make that bold. I'll increase its text size. I'll say ideal A4 is that number. So right there. 15, you're gonna be smoking because uh you know engines aren't 100 percent volumetric ve efficiency um so i know that it the, the air fuel ratio of diesel is 14.6 to one but in an engine that are inefficient is boost leaks to somewhere but that's not perfect boosting blah 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 it's injecting slightly more slightly less fuel so you always kind of want to aim slightly higher so let's say you want 17. this will change down a second so we need 2.6 bar, this is actually, sorry, 1.6 bar, this is including atmospheric pressure. So all you do is you go to your boost map and simply you would, so our max boost previously was, was it 11 here, was 2050, 2050 and we need so I'll just go to data, goal seek, and set cell, cell to value 2680 by changing this cell, hit OK. That's a 31.3 is 30%. 266, 268. Pretty much on the ball hit okay 
and now we can burn 75 milligrams of fuel um, at an air, fuel, air fuel ratio of 17 to 1 and that will produce no smoke at 75 milligrams producing 350 newton meters of torque so that's why this calculator is so helpful because realistically you would actually what i what i've done before is you'd go to your torque to iq you would copy all of this you'd paste that in over here blah 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 you would then extrapolate from like 160 from 160 newton meters of torque it's about 20 and then for like I don't know, that's, you could call 1160, 100, or a bit off, 500 is probably a good example. So this is actually 0 0.01, 1, so 6 milligrams for 500 new, or for 50 newton meters of torque, because it's 0 0.1. And you could, you could extrapolate from there, but then there's a bit of like data in between and you know what I mean? So 336 and it was what, 278. So it doesn't even actually in around here, realistically, is the data being used because uh, what was it? it was 278. Our torque map was limited to, wasn't it? So actually, we realistically only use about 42, call it 45, 56 milligrams, but then that's already here, so that can't be right, but actually at 336, 55, 56, so it's very, very close at 45, realistically it's actually about 50 milligrams of fuel, but 62 will produce 350. So 62, you pop that in, we get a new boost level. That's only 1.2 bar, which this turbo on this Sierra Leone, will, by the way, don't use these values. This is just to, uh, giving you an example of the calculator because 1.6 bar will completely send your turbo to smithereens. This turbo is only good for uh, a maximum of 1.4 bar, which looks like this. Uh, that's 1.4 bar um, you don't want to put that that's like your literal that's your maximum because if we look at the single value boost limiter I'm that good <laughs> it's 2350 you don't want to go above that really on the PD 105s because the turbos are just made out of plastic plastic Anyways, that's just a quick example of the calculator, how to use it, how it's helpful, how it quick how it quickens the mapping. Uh, I think it's a really useful calculator. And obviously you can stick in a two liters and another three liters and inline sixes and it works out perfectly. And like 85, 18, two bar for a three liter inline six. So it's nothing, it's probably already boosted at that. Uh, 85 is pretty much already been injected. So you want like more like 110 milligrams of fuel. That's 2.9 bar, which is probably way too much. But anyways, that's because it's a very high fuel air fuel ratio. Say if you did 16, drop it down to 2.5 bar, which is still very high, but that's an incredible that's an insane amount of fuel. But anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this is useful and I hope you find it uh you know entertaining and this calculator is available on the website so just click on the description and it's all there and uh thanks for watching